like a keyhole. Okay, um... I seriously hate these kinds of puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bottom done, now through the top. <sighs> I just feel like hitting my head against something because I hate these goddamn puzzles. This is the island the statue. The statue. I don't care. This is the island statue. Great. Uh, er. Is this a cliff statue? Or ruins? Uh, I think this is a cliff statue.
this. <laughs> I hate these kinds of puzzles so much. I think that's right. I hope it's right. the symbols from the um, thingamajigger correctly then that's right that was the ruins um, next is to the wait no this is the ruin statue the other was the cliff right fuck uh, so this is the ruin statue or something. I don't care. <laughs> We're just going through the exact same motions again. Oh god. Ah, I swear to God, if you say that again. Is that it?
wooden crossbow? It's a big wooden crossbow, I guess. I wonder who built it and what it's for. I have no idea and I'm not entirely sure I want to find out anytime soon. If I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Elation Village. Yeah, that's what the wooden crossbow is for. <laughs> it's a wooden Hello? That was disturbing. She got it right. Oh my god. Oh god. I hate these fucking puzzles. We'll be there. Satan. Oh my god. Oh thank god. I cut out a lot of wandering back and forth and trying to figure out the damn thing, so. Or at least I tried to. I don't know if I actually succeeded in doing that, but my god. I look like a real sailor. I don't care. Arr, Maggie. Whoa. Shut up. Quaman? <laughs> god. And meet me, Quaman. But what you be doing up in the air, big woman? Big woman. Big woman? Watch it. I don't. Just my voice that's big, Quaman. I'm really quite average, size-wise. Where are you, Quaman? That be a secret. Quaman wants to be left alone. <laughs> Follow a stream up from the rock beach. Thanks, Tom. I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, well, I made it easy. It 
It's a deep well with cold, brackish water and some seriously demented albino fish. Seriously demented, huh? <laughs> Whoa! You are big! You're just about the biggest person I've ever met! Quaman be a freak. No one be liking him. Oh. I didn't mean it that way, I just meant... Hey, bro. You know just what to say, don't you? I'm sorry. I like tall guys. Really, I do. You be the only one, then. Because no one else want anything to do with Quaman. Comparatively speaking, he's not that tall in comparison to her. You come to be on this island? Maybe... That be a long story. Do you want Quaman to be tall? telling you? Five to ten feet? Sure I have time. Tell me the story. Many long moons ago, Quaman be happy. He be working at the Circa in Corazon, where he be big attraction. So he was at the circus. What did you do? Quaman be the world's Sorry. strongest man. He be popular. People come to see him from all the Northlands. Some even from east of the Bay of Fire. Wow. But then there be an accident. And the circuit tell Quaman to leave. That he be dangerous. And that no one be paying to see him anymore. Mm hmm accident Quaman's most popular feat be the breaking of large rocks with his fist everyone would applaud when the rock be breaking mm -hmm. then one day the Kala be at the circa to see the performers he be saying Quaman I hear of him breaking a large rock with his fist this I want to see uh -oh. but my performance be over that day and there be no rock to break. So the Circa Ringmaster Obron, he be saying, let's get a rock in here, any big rock at all. Oh boy. So they bring in this rock that Kwama never be crushing before. Kwama not be sure if it is a good idea because rock can be dangerous when it breaks. Mm -hmm. But Obron be saying, this you must do. The Kalev wants to see we do not disappoint the Caliph of Khorasan, or we lose our heads. So Kwaman break the rock, and when it breaks... What, what happened? There'll be Should large pieces of yeah. rock flying everywhere, and one piece be hitting the Caliph and one his son. The Caliph be not seriously hurt, but his son be unconscious and bleeding from the head. Mm. They say to Kwaman, run! Get away from the Circa and Khorasan, or the Caliph will have his head. So Quaman run, and he get passage on ship leaving that night. So when the, the ship passed this island, Quaman be jumping into sea and swimming ashore. And now he be here. And it was their fault this happened. What happened between you and the Orlawal? Mm. Oh. Quaman be so clumsy, so dangerous. He should not be among people. He be only hurting them. Mm. Be all the all be kind, letting Quaman live and fish in their village. But then Quaman be stepping over young all the wall, almost breaking his shell. Mm. Be all the wall tell Quaman. To leave village, to not come back because he may kill an Orwal. They tell him to go as far away as possible. Quaman be sad because he liked the Orwal, and because Quaman be having the best fishing place in all of Elias. He loses his friends and his food. <laughs> what do you eat now? Quaman fish in these wells here. But the fish that live down there be small, and not very tasty. I would imagine not. Especially since they're living in brackish water. 
Would you like to move back to the Orlewall village? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I'm on the wishing that more than anything in the world. Uh, we saw an Orlewall down by the beach, just outside the village. It seemed to be in pain, but I didn't know what to do. Perhaps if you come along, you can help him out and get back in favor with the Orlewall people. Yes, perhaps Quaman can help. Even if the Orlewall do not want him back. Here it is, the, uh, Orlewall? Can you help it? Perhaps Quaman can help. Poor Orlewall. He'd be crying for help. Uh, Quaman see what be wrong. The Orlewall not shed its shell when time comes, and now it be stuck in the shell. Why didn't the other Orlewall come to its assistance? Their claws be no good for this work. They be helpless. But Quaman help. Quaman be good with his hands. Quaman be happy. Quaman accept your graceful thanks, sir. <laughs> Thank you. You be making Quaman very happy. Quaman accept your offer and be grateful to the all wall people. Thank you very much. What? What did he say? Why did you thank him? All wall be inviting Quaman to stay on the cliff above the village where he can fish again. Quaman be very, very happy now. You understand what it's saying? All wall language be easy to understand. It be just click and clack and clock. I'm so happy for you, Quaman. Go on, don't let me hold you back. <laughs> That's awesome. We should go visit him on the cliff. Quaman is fishing. Hey, Quaman, how's the fish biting? With its teeth? But not today. <laughs> Why's that? Quaman be not certain. The fish always bite before, but then Quaman be having lure. Now no lure, just bait. What do you need to make a lure? Quaman can make lure with just anything. As long as it be colorful and not get heavy in water. You're a real DIY guy, don't you know? <laughs> Always be something wrong with Quaman. <laughs> that was actually a compliment. Oh. <laughs> Didn't do it yourself. Are you happy now, Quaman? Quaman be happy. He be wanting fish to bite. But if they do not, Quaman still be happy. <laughs> Can I borrow your fishing rod? Quaman must catch fish first, so he can eat. After Quaman catch fish, April can borrow fishing rod. <laughs> Happy fishing. Thank you. Okay, so something colorful and that doesn't sink. Candy wrapper? Could this wrapper work as a lure? Yes. Yes, with some work, it'd be perfect for a lure. Now Quaman can make one, and hopefully catch many fish. <laughs> I did not expect that. Hello, Quaman. Hello, April. <laughs> Happy fishing. Thank you. Oh, I just realized the candy itself is gone. So did I give him everything he needed? Quaman is fishing. I can see clear to the bottom. I gave him everything he needed, right? <laughs> Hello, Quaman. Hello. Happy fish. Thank you. Okay. Since I can't actually talk to him. Oops. Okay. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's go back to that crossbow and see if that 
will allow me to get to the other side. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised if she has to make or find a crossbow bolt. But who knows. <laughs> and we also visit the stick people and see if they have anything to say. Now that claw mom is fishing again. And we'll be able to make his own lure. Built that big also, I about that. The tree. I did. Well, I thought of it. And these two nincompoops gave a helping twig on the, uh, manual side. Hmm. So they built it, and you supervised. Yep. But it's not done. There are still a few pieces missing before we can blast off for Luna. It's supposed to be a rocket? Did you say blast off for Luna? That's what I said, Luna. As in the moon? The same. <laughs> you intend to go to the moon using that thing? Lunar oh. cannon. And yes, that's the plan. Oh my god. You guys are loonies. If by loonies you mean visionaries, then yes, yes we are. <laughs> How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why. But Quaman has moved back to the Orlowal village. He's not going to disturb you again, trust me. <laughs> really? How the heck did that happen? Nah, I don't care. <laughs> the important thing is, we can work again. Thanks, lady. Oh. It's a good thing I revisited him. His head looks like an axe. And they all go one by one. <laughs> I just realized that plant looks like a bird with just a long ass tongue sticking out. Because it even has a little eye. And two ears. <laughs> and the lower beak. It kind of looks like, um, crow. This right here. And this one right there. Yeah. Cool. According to Wick, it's a lunar cannon. Apparently, it's powerful enough to send a stick man to the moon. Oh, sure. In a Jules Verne novel, perhaps. <laughs> I'd be happy to talk to you later, but I got some fine-tuning to do before I'm done. How's it going? Almost there. Oh, uh, one tiny little problem, though. And that is? And that is? <laughs> we don't have a bowstring for our, uh, uh... Propulsion drive mechanism, Wick. <laughs> Uh, what he said, uh, yeah, we need a bowstring. Uh, something strong and flexible and sinewy. Mm -hmm. Like what? I don't know, lady. I'm no engineer. I'm just a supervisor. String made from animal guts would be perfect. That's nice. Yeah, but look at us. We look like the kind of stick men who'd make good hunters. <laughs> Do you see me going after a gate beast carrying what? A cone? dry leaf sharpened to a razor edge <laughs> so then we need animal guts in order to make well either that or something similar thereof um wonder if Kalman would be able to make another uh bowstring or bowstring freaking a Another um, thing of above fishing line. Good God. Yeah. It's another one of those statues come phone booths. They must have been popular in their time. <laughs> it's a deep well with cold. Anyway, uh, beach. And up to the village. 
and see if Plowman will allow me to borrow his fishing rod now or something. <laughs> Hopefully he's caught some fish. Oh! Yes, he most certainly has. It looks gigantic. Did my Laura work okay? It'd be working very good. <laughs> catch a large, tasty fish very quickly. April be wanting a taste? Oh! Uh, no. No offense. I'm just not too fond of seafood. Uh. This not be seafood. It be human <laughs> food. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> What's Quaman gonna be doing now? Oh, I love Quaman this guy. be sitting here until the sun sets. Then he be going to sleep. And tomorrow? Quaman be deciding that when he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> Man, you got relaxing down to a fine art. Seriously. Quaman not be knowing anything about fine art. He be a Philistine. <laughs> I'll see you later, Quaman. Oh my god. <laughs> so will I. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. The remains of Quaman's catch, and a very convenient shape it is, if I may say so. Like a hook. Mm -hmm. I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon, but I'll borrow the line. fireplace. Looks like Quaman just had himself a solid lunch. That was quick. There are only bones left of his catch. Wow. It's Quaman's fishing rod. I can give him back the fishing line when we get back. Wonder what we'll be using the fish bone for. Wonder if it'll be for the guy's um, so-called lunar catapult or if he'll be for something else. Well, it's not a catapult. His lunar, whatever. But yeah. <laughs> Large tree. Climb the tree. And who do I give this to? You? Ah, there you go. Can you use this as bowstring for your uh, lunar, lunar cannon? Can. Let me see that. Oh yeah, that gonna work good. All right, listen up. <laughs> I got us what we need. And now we finish this damn cannon. Go to work, people. Give us a few minutes, lady, and we'll be all done. Ow, knee pain. <laughs> Stickman's lunar cannon. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar <laughs> cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? Well, what? Are you gonna do it? Do what? Oh my god. Test the cannon. <laughs> Me? And get myself killed? I think not. But go ahead, be my guest. I don't think I'll fit in there. That ain't my problem. <laughs> it's the Stickman's Lunar Cannon. Yup, the cannon is done. I feel like sleeping for a year or two. Jesus. Hey, all done. And we did absolutely nothing. As usual, aside from shouting a lot and kicking mine in Woody's arse. <laughs> Can I test the cannon? Be my guest. It's the Stickman's Lunar Cannon. I am well aware. So how do I get her to test it? It's the sti it's the Stickman. Sorry, God, stop talking. It's the Stickman's Lunar Cannon. <sighs> yup, the cannon Look like is a done. Real sailor. Die. I 
Maggie. Uh, feel Maggie. Like sleeping for a year or two. If I could somehow get a if I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Elation Village. How do I get her to test this damn thing? <laughs> right. It'd be funny if you could summon Crow and just stick him in it. <laughs> I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Yeah. Yes, I know it's the lunar cannon. I look like a real sailor. Arrgh. Can I test the cannon? Be my guest. So what? Do I need to put something into it or? Nope. Trin. April, I'm going to strangle you. Oh my god. Hmm. 